Beautiful people, episode 158 of the Ignite Your Purpose podcast show. Mind your backs. Bloody Mind hell, your backs. We start at four, man. We go live at four. You're late. Okay. Anyway, beautiful people, today we are going to simply talk about International Mental Health, Mental Awareness Day. John, tell the beautiful people who the hell we are and what we do. We are Ignite Your Purpose. And as always, we talk a longevity through uh, the healthy lifestyle, the or a mix of mental, physical, and some spiritual knowledge. The mind, body, soul, trifecta, negative, two, positive. Every day, all day, baby. Uh, so in the news, as trending, it's something that's big time in our society right now. Uh, you have PTSD, you have vets, you have people coming home with all these mental issues. Uh, cannabis is in the news um, with new treatments for it. We got people talking ketogenic diet for this mental awareness, mental health thing. John, give us your take. Well, as I, I picked the subject today, well, in reality, Twitter picked it, but um, I saw that mental health was, uh, was trending. And um, a few of my friends have been uh, raising money for charity, for ex-servicemen in the UK. I know uh, Max is aware of many people in this, in this part of the world working on uh, taking care of the vets. Yes. In fact, you even put a line in one of your songs recently. Very true. We vets got coming, vets coming home. You can't make it on their own. You can't make it on their own, baby. Um, so I thought I'd bring it up because my... My honest, and I'm an, I'm an ex-serviceman as well, my perception of PTSD, that it was solely connected to wartime traumas, that fight or flight, those traumatic experiences where those things just pop inside us, we don't know that they're there, and then they just keep tripping away over and over and over for years and years, affecting each and every sort of aspect of our lives. Um, and that's where I thought it came from. And I know certainly the, uh, the US Army, if they've had guys or girls in, in, in combat and they've had contact, when they get them back to base, they're playing the old game Tetris because it, enable, it just gets their minds focusing on that one simple task of fitting those blocks in rather than sitting at home or sitting in the barracks or sitting in the tent or the chow hall processing that last little uh, sort of incident or episode that they've had, talking it through with their buddies, just reprogramming it. You know, they're talking about it with as much depth and detail and color and sound as possible. So that's where it goes in. But I digress because PTSD is not just about the military. It's- Bombs going off it's, and it's, death. It's not that, it's getting caught under the car. It's at a young rape. age being, being dumped by a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it's rape, it's your family separating. Um, and it's, it's after a traumatic experience. So I thought we'd kind of bounce this subject around, uh, come up with some ideas of things that it may have affected us in our past lives, or just simply we're, we're raising the awareness that it's not just soldiers and servicemen and airmen and, uh, and those guys in the Navy, sorry fellas, uh, that, that suffer. I don't mean that. Uh, so Max? Um, so we've had a monk talk to us from Eastern Asia, East Asia. Um, now they view things a little differently. So I agree 100% with what John just said. I do however think there needs to be a small line drawn in the sand. Yeah. When you say getting dumped by a girl, and I'm not saying that this is what John's claiming, but you know, I got dumped by a girl, I have PTSD, I need drugs. I, I don't know if that personally I would consider. Now, there's probably issues there, yeah. I get it. Um, but PTSD, I do. I would, I would say there are traumatic things in our heads that have happened. Boom, a bomb going off, you get blown 20 feet. There, that hasn't happened to me personally. I, I, I completely agree with that, but it's all about perspective, isn't it? When it's you're very true. 10 or 12 or 14 or 16 it's and, very true. and you've had this perfect life and that is baby possibly or... the first traumatic experience yeah. that you've experienced. Very true. And we don't know how to deal with this. We're not taught about emotions and interactions and empathy and patience and understanding. So, I, I, uh, I, and I'm not saying it's one, the same thing as being blown no. or, or, or having the lead rounds firing past your head. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, no, I agree. But yeah, sorry. I, no, I, no, I, that's, I chipped in. No, it's perfect. It's, it's, it's better when we're live together. Yeah. But the monk that spoke to us uh, talked to us about a 
an event that happened and there was a lady in the village who claimed she had mental demons she was she had all these mental issues and she came to the monks there the Buddhist monks to get some form of help and she was screaming and ranting and raving and said she needed help and take the kids and, and all this type of stuff right I think she was in her early 20s maybe mid to late 20s we'll say and the way the monks solved this yeah which is interesting all right? I'm just giving you a story that was told to me that puts sheds some perspective on the, the, la the, the line in the sand all right and the monks said to the junior monks okay I want you guys to go start boiling water is that the technical term junior monks there is a better term training apprentice well, they're monks, but they're just not the headmaster. And I'm not, I'm not joking. Here, so. Yeah, it, there is a term, but they're not the headmaster. So the other ones that are, you know, on their sabbaticals and training and, you know, okay. 15 years deep, whatever. Now they tell them to go start boiling water, right? They get, they also bring in a tub, all right? Yeah. A bathtub. You know, this is a bit of a process, but the water starts getting boiled. They start pouring, pouring the water into the tub. Okay. All right. The lady finally asked, well, what are you doing? And she said, in our beliefs, he, he said, sorry, in our belief system, and I could be chopping the story up a little bit, but this is how I remember it, um, is we will, we will burn the demons out of your mind. Okay. We will boil them out of you. Yeah. Basically telling her that they're going to put her into boiling water. Mm -hmm. And how quickly her tune changed. Because some of the things just are in the mind. Yep. Right. Now, having said that, boom, you get... There is some type of receptacle that if you were raped, if you've had an arm blown off, if you've, there are some major things there, right? I, and I'm not. Don't understand. Yeah, yeah, like that, I, there will be some major help needed. Now, whether it's pharmaceutical, meditation, a ketogenic diet, a ketogenic diet, herbs, yeah. uh, miracle cannabis, many options. I, I, I'm not schooled mm -hmm. enough in that area, but a lot of it goes back to self-awareness, training your brain, Perspective. understanding your brain, understanding how your mind thinks, understanding your own thoughts, understanding how those thoughts are connected to a past, connected to a behavior, connected yeah. to an emotion. You have a thought, you say it, it you, you, when you think something, you think it, when you say it, you give it energy, when you give it energy, it becomes something. Reality, and that's yeah. now your reality, right? And, you know, is, Again, I just think there's a, a line in the sand. There. Yeah, it's it's not the same thing, but I, yeah, but uh, I think more and more in this day and age, we're uh, we're looking at all these the, the traumas, the children self harming, and you know maybe part of it's the you know the internet and scaring the internet for these people to kind of lead them down and the, the fear based path. society we are in. But there is still sort of trauma going on at all sort of scales. Oh man, um, and there's traumas we do not know about. We don't live yeah. in some of these third world countries where we do, we're not even reported on what's going on. That stuff, and those guys don't get to go, hey, I need a pill yeah. from a psychiatrist. Um, they have to deal with yeah. it their way. Uh, and I, I would say, from my humble opinion, the ketogenic diet, if there's some research being done on that, we saw some yeah. data that there is. Um, medical marijuanas, meditation. We know, we know meditation helps. We know, so I, I definitely implore the people that are studying that to help those people yeah. that would be my my first uh, and I, I think for all of us it's just to to gain the perspective that when these these stories come up with people and we're, and we're shared of these experiences give, giving people your giving people your time compassion um, and not, not necessarily talking but allowing them to to express and, and, to, and to share the experiences for which they've had um, and then maybe if you feel it's appropriate you know, just put a slightly different perspective on, um, you know, your, it might be where somebody was and they are now, it might be the people that they were surrounded by and they're actually surrounded by loving people now who, who want to wanna help. Um, just, just be there for people and, you know, when, when you, you look at a soldier or a, an ex-serviceman of any, of any uh, arm, just, you know, thank them for the time because we do, you know, and the military side of things, we do need to, and the policemen and the fire yeah. service and, yes. the, and the ambulance and the Coast Guard, you know, thank, thank all of these people for their service and, and give them time. That's, sometimes, that's the best, say. sometimes the best healing is just to listen. Yeah. You know, it's, it's their lesson. It's, it's maybe not our lesson to interject and try to teach them something that we think we do or don't know. Yep. 
On that note, beautiful people, that's all I have to say. Please like, please subscribe, please give us high fives. Please, email, please do dirty dance. Please shuffle a little. <laughs> uh, we just love you. We appreciate you. Thank you to all the online listeners. Thank you to the Podbean, the anchor listeners. We just appreciate the love, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. It's not okay. simple. Thank you. Bye. Woo.